Welcome. I'm Dr. Natalie Kather, a medical doctor and Zenzino Scientific Advisory Board member. I've been impressed and pleased with the results I've had on Zenzino products, including better mood, better mental clarity, better skin health, and better gastrointestinal health. I'm here with my biochemist husband, Stephen Chernisky, who is also an advisory board member. We are delighted to talk to you with today about how to interpret the balance test report. Now, the balance test report was created from research-driven scientific studies and includes 50 literature references. It analyzes 11 fatty acids in the red blood cell membrane, which in turn reflects the whole body status. Now, this panel reveals important cellular tissue and body health information because every cell depends on the function of its cell membrane, including the mitochondria, the energy-making cellular powerhouses. That's right. So congratulations on doing this test. You are the leader of your medical team, and now you have important information that empowers you to take steps to enjoy greater health. If you're wondering why your primary care physician hasn't ordered a test like this before, well, please realize that nutritional issues are not a solid area of study for most Western medical schools. Your physician may order a standard set of metabolic panels, but it's rare that it may include the 11 membrane fatty acids. Again, the balance of these fatty acids determines how well cells do their job, whether they're immune cells, brain cells, or the cells of any gland or organ, including your skin and your bones. So you can see how improving this key biomarker can have profound effects on your health. Yeah, well, we're going to go into some detail regarding different aspects of the test, but we'll focus mainly on the ratio of the omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. That's because too many omega-6 fats creates inflammation, and that is the most damaging force in your body and brain, that mm. inflammation. And we're not talking about just the inflammation that causes stiffness and soreness, right? Current medical research is focusing now on the silent inflammation that contributes to virtually all health issues. So welcome to this new global trend of awareness in science-based, test-based nutrition. Yeah. We know that you've looked at page five and you've seen the result. And there's a 97% chance that you are semi-balanced or out of balance. But let's come back to that. Let's go to page 7 of the report. Today is November 2024, and Vitas Analytical Services has performed over 1.5 million balance tests. This laboratory is separate from Zenzino and has over 25 years of experience providing high-quality, chromatographic analysis using cutting edge technology. It's double blinded and your results are anonymous. They base their target ranges on at least 10,000 tests, providing us with confident results and confident recommendations. Wonderful. Yeah. Wow. The four categories are saturated fats, omega-9 fatty acids, omega-6 fatty acids, and omega-3 fatty acids. The saturated fats are palmitic acid and stearic acid, which are found in butter, milk, cheese, and meat, as well as tropical oils like palm kernel oil. High levels of these are associated with increased risk for cardiovascular disease, but it's important to know that these fatty acids also disrupt your body's blood sugar balance. The World Health Organization recommends that all people, no matter their age, limit sugar intake to no more than 25 grams a day. Now, the average American consumes 72 grams a day. Jeez. That's almost three times the recommended limit. <laughs> wow. Now, if your saturated fats are elevated, that reduces your cell membrane fluidity and your protection value. The protection value is how well your cell membrane composition helps to protect you from the risk of chronic illness. Cell, mem cell membrane fluidity relies on having enough EPA and DHA omega-3 fatty acids. So if the saturated fats are high, this prevents those omega-3 fats from getting deposited into the cell membrane. Wow, a lot of information there. If saturated fats are elevated, consider reducing dairy and meat. And importantly, reduce your sugar intake to 25 grams a day or less. 
Soft drinks contain a lot of sugar, so start by removing that from the diet. Did you know that one 12-ounce can of Coke <laughs> contains 39 grams of sugar? Oh, oh my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I, I know. The next category is omega-9 fats, or oleic acid. And you can simply call this your olive oil level, because that monounsaturated fat is an important part of the Mediterranean diet. In fact, the Zenzino Balance products contain oil and polyphenols from olives, making these products the Mediterranean mm -hmm. diet in a bottle. The next two categories are the omega-6 and the omega-3 fatty acids, both are essential and we can only get them from our diet. The omega-6 fats are needed to create inflammation in the immediate response to injury. This initiates the healing process, but an excess of omega-6 fats in our cell membranes creates problems. The cell membranes become stiff and as the cells struggle to perform their normal function, inflammation becomes chronic. Hmm. Now, how big is this problem? Well, each of us is made up of about 36 trillion cells. So imagine what amounts to a metabolic emergency occurring from head to wow. toe. All right. Now, if you'd like to look deeper into this issue, you can simply Google omega-6 to omega-3 ratio in health and disease. You'll find scores of studies illustrating how this impacts your risk for multiple disease states. The bottom line, Chronic inflammation is a serious health risk that causes damage long before it shows up in your joints, your muscles, your lower back. Mm -hmm. So by restoring the ideal omega-6 to omega-3 ratio, you have the opportunity to dial down inflammation where it starts, at the cell level. Now, the modern Western diet is filled with omega-6 fats. The amount of soy oil in the Western diet has increased by over a thousand percent between 1909 and 1999. Wow. So again, changes that you can change back. Look again at your 11 fatty acid results. Notice that all the target ranges and your values are in percentages. So if you add up all your values for the 11 categories, it equals 100%. We need the right percentages in all fatty acid categories so that the cell membrane is rigid enough to be structurally sound, but on the other hand, it needs to be fluid enough to let nutrients in and get the waste out. We have enough arachidonic acid to respond to injury and create the acute inflammation needed for the early healing process. We have to have enough EPA and DHA in our cellular membrane to optimize their fluidity, function, and the ability to calm inflammation. We don't want the lingering inflammation and the risks for disease. Now, let's return to page five. The sum of the omega-6 fats compared to the sum of the omega-3 fats. This is the safe zone. It's three to one or better. Decades of research shows that this safe zone ratio is linked to far fewer disease states. But listen to this. With the world's largest blood spot database, we see that 97% of the world is out of balance, with the very first test result averaging between 15 and 20 to 1 across the globe. Hey, let's look at North America. The average first test result for the USA is 22.4 to 1. Then Mexico is 24.4 to 1. In Canada, 14.5 to 1. That means that almost everyone in North America is in the danger zone. The United States is ranked 60th in the world for life expectancy, currently at 76 years. My age. Mexico is ranked 64th in the world for life expectancy at 75 years. Canada is 20th with a life expectancy of 83 years. Now we hope that with this test-based nutrition, we'll be able to do a better job because as we learn, we can do better. Yeah. Now let's look at the protection value, which relies on the impact of your EPA and DHA levels, those omega-3s. The protection value highlights how good your omega-3 index is. If anyone challenges you about the healthcare value of the omega-6 to omega-3 result, show them the even more important omega-3 index calculation. The natural level of EPA in the blood is 3.6%, while DHA is 4.7%, combined at least 8%. 
Health, preferably 10%. Coastal communities in Japan tend to have the highest omega-3 index values because of their high fish intake. Wonderful. Now remember, the safe zone is omega-6 to omega-3, at least 3 to 1 or better, and an omega-3 index of at least 8%. And when it comes to risk for disease states, high risk is below 4%. Intermediate risk is between 4% and 8%. And then the low risk, the best place to be, (laughs) is omega-3 index over 8%. So an excellent omega-6 to 3 ratio is 1 to 1. And an excellent omega-3 index result is 10%. Those are my personal goals. Now, let's talk about mental strength. When we deeply focus on reading, writing, or doing other creative work, we challenge our brains to expand its ability. The brain searches for DHA to protect the nerves and optimize brain function. So we must have enough omega-3 DHA in our diet for this to happen. If we don't have enough DHA, our cognition is actually impaired. Yep. I like DHA. It's important because it's the main omega-3 polyunsaturated fatty acid found in the brain, and it has multiple roles in making the brain work well. It's important for cell communication and regeneration, for cell membrane function, and how well the brain manages inflammation. So important. It improves how well you can think and process new information. Consuming DHA improves mood and cognition. As Dr. Michael Weiser points out in the journal Nutrition, advanced cognition function is uniquely human, and the optimal development and aging of cognitive abilities has profound impacts on quality of life, productivity, and the advancement of society in general. Listen, every day we make 300 billion new cells. (laughs) That's a tremendous opportunity to make better cells and literally build a better body. So always remember to take your Zinzino Balance products daily at the dose recommended for your weight. We set reminders in our house every morning for this. The test titled Cell Membrane Fluidity could also be named Cell Membrane Rigidity. Mm -hmm. As you can see, the lower the number, the better, with the goal to go to one to one. The omega-3 fats are best at improving cell membrane fluidity because of their structure. Think of omega-3 fats as a person standing in a row of people. The omega-3 has an arm extended fully so that she has some space to move around, do a little dance. She offers more fluidity to that area of the row because of that spacing. Omega-6 fats, omega-9 fats, and saturated fats only have a little elbow pointed away (laughs) from their body, so less fluidity and movement. Trans fats are the worst. They are rigid in the row with arms against their body and feet close together. No fluidity there. (laughs) And lastly, arachidonic acid, or AA, is the most important omega-6 fatty acids that your body is unable to make. Therefore, it must be supplied from your diet. Arachidonic acid is the starting point for making signals that create inflammation. Now, this comes from triggers to protect the body from infection, illness, or injury. You want just the right amount, not too little and not too much. Arachidonic acid production is influenced by your diet, your genetics, the aging process, and your liver health. We have a friend who has allowed us to use her results as an example. Her first test came back in the gray color with the note of balanced, but healthy is the green color with the note of balanced. It turned out her omega-6 to omega-3 ratio was 2.5 to 1, but that balance was because she was low in both omega-6 and omega-3 fatty acids. She's very happy with the changes her body has seen since starting the Zenzino Balance Oil, Now, if you had unexpected results in your test, please review the full report uh, for advice about dietary changes. And when doing the test, remember to thoroughly wash your hands with soap and water to remove any skin care lotions or oils that might alter the results. Use clean, dry hands. Yeah. So if you've had a high omega-6 to omega-3 result, such as over 40 to 1, or if you've ever smoked, or are an elite athlete, um, or if you notice premature aging, please consider the premium balance oil, which has four times the polyphenols as the regular regular forma, formula 
for fighting oxidation. Yeah. Have you been taking the balance oil or the Zinzino Ascent daily for at least 120 days? If so, then it's time for your second balance test. Good news, the average second test result for Americans is 3.4 to 1. Best wishes for you on your journey to get into the safe zone and stay there. Yeah. This is your reminder. Take your balance oil.